Why so many white? Oh my, look. What are you talking about? Are you talking about this? Who is this? She's the only one that matters. Everybody else can go. I'm just saying that. I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay. This is 13 women versus model. Real life Tinder swiping. XP dating. Australian YouTube edition. That's what it's called. She Asian? There's no way she's Asian. Oh my God. I'm really not beating the allegations. I don't care though. Girl in the teal dress. What about her? Yo, she low-key look like Saweetie. That's funny. Patrick. I hate this shirt, Patrick. You need new drip. Hi, my name's Rafar. How you going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to meet you. You're looking nice very you. fine today. And I try my best. Nice. The blue eyes matching the blue shirt. I like it. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Malika. How, How are you, you today? Malika? Good, good. So, you trying to make chocolate vanilla swell? No. Wait, what did she just say? Okay. Like good, good. So, you trying to make chocolate vanilla swell? This is 95% of women. When they approach men, this is 95%. No. Hi, I'm Taya. Um, hey, I'm Taya. I'm good, how are you? I'm good. That's good. Um, I don't have a pickup line, but I kind of do. I can pick you up and we can do lines. Oh my fucking God. This bitch just offered him drugs and you didn't even, you don't even know his first name. She said, I want to do coke with you. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Kira. Hey, I'm Kira. I'm oh, my God. Sorry, but like that. Okay, look. I'm not. Look, chill. This The hips are the first thing that pop. Like, how am I supposed to see anything else? You know what you did. You know what you did. Good, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, new experience for you. Wait, uh, that's crazy though. Not me, the set. <laughs> no, it's not the no? experience. Okay. I like your top. It's busting out. Thanks. It's good. Yeah. Well, I want a new experience, so I'll say yeah. A new experience? Hi, I'm Jessica. How are you going, Jessica? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. What was your name? I'm Patrick. Patrick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, that's your selling point? Cool. I have no pickup line either, to be honest. <laughs> you gotta be better than that. Okay. It's a no. <laughs> Hi. No, outfit, go. I'm Lulu. Hey, I'm Lulu. I'm well, thank you. I have one question for you. What's up? Are you celiac? No, I'm not. Oh my fucking god, bro. Please talk normal. Because all I got is cake. <laughs> yeah. How you going, Ash? Great, a little bit hungover. Do you want to come to a rave with me later? Bit hungover? Yep. I'm you are dressed... Bro. You are dressed like a fodder character in a teenage horror movie. No. You're not in. You're not allowed. Am I, uh... Bro am is I not worthy no of, uh, you just being... Why would I try for a guy I don't even know if I'm into? Why are you here? Okay. No. <laughs> are you good? Hi, I'm Tamara. How you going, Tamara? I'm good. How are you? Tamara's a good name. I'm good. I'm good. I just did not come prepared, but um, but you're way too excited to be here. I gotta get you about the way, my G. But I'm such a good dancer, and I'm so good at yoga, and I'm also good at cooking. Yoga. Yeah. Yes, please. Yay! <laughs> well, you said yes to yoga and not the cooking. Something wrong with him. Hi, Maria. How you going, Maria? Good. What's your name? I'm Patrick. You're Patrick? You have a really nice build. Thank you. I, uh, I try my best. And where are you from? Good job, Pat. 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. First thing I got assaulted with was head. Can't lie to you. Might have to send you out the way. Head crazy. But sure she's great. Sure she's great. I'm from the West. What? I'm from uh, Williamstown. Williamstown. I'm from where we were close. Westy. Yeah. Westy. That way, please. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. I'm Jess. How you doing, Jess? Are you my appendix? Because I don't know what the fuck you do, but I'm trying to take you out. Okay. It's, just, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's I know fine. the appendix actually does something, so I'm going to say no. Oh, shit. It's fine. I don't care what you're saying. You're, you're in. I don't care what you're saying. You're in. Hi. How you going? What's your name? I'm Patrick. So what's your name? <laughs> what you talking about? Patrick. Nice. My name is Davina. Nice How to meet you. Davina? Davina? <laughs> it's divinity that we even... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's divinity that we even here right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Put to the left, bro. Like, over here, bro. Chill, chill. Chill, gang. Chill, gang. Good, thank you. What's your first impression? First impression? Yeah. That way. Yeah. First impression that way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> he know what type of time it is. Hey, Patrick. Oh, my God. They got to be here. I took five now. Hey, Patrick. I'm Ray. How you going, Ray? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Sir. Honestly, like you shouldn't even show me because I don't care about the rest at this point. You see what here, and that's what you get. So you liking that? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's your sale? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. She got one clap. That's Hi. crazy. Hi. Nice to meet you. That's nice you. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice and forward. Right. I don't think she was trying to do that. Oh, yeah, she was. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get you out the way for that one. It's COVID, bitch. Like, what's wrong with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wasn't her fault. I think he did that by himself. I don't think she meant to do that. It's important. All right. Um, so, my name is Merlin. Hey, Merlin. Do you like women with pretty feet? Women with pretty feet. Pretty feet. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Okay. Niggas are in the fit stuff now, bro. I, I can't. I can't lie. Just looking at the light. Can't How hate. was it? Yeah, it was pretty good. I had a good time. You had to make another decision, mate. Okay. Yeah. You had to choose another five. Eight down to five. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, listen, take your time, but pick wisely. All right. All right. I'll try my best. All right. All right, everybody, leave except green sweater or jacket. Right to left or left to right. Left to right. Okay. You gone. You gone. You gone. And that's it, right? You just got to get rid of three? He got to take it from eight to five. You, you, and you gone. Easy. No. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. She tricked him. She tricked him because he was about to say no. Yes. No. Hey, yo, he, he might actually be me. Now, ladies. Here comes the fun part. You guys have to either do one of three things. Write a poem. Write a rap. A poem is crazy. Or sing, Patrick. <laughs> you have five minutes to come up with something. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, if I have to write a poem or a rap for a nigga I don't know, that's really fucking dumb. That's really stupid. Honestly, getting eliminated on this part is kind of like warranted. Like, who the fuck would actually... Like, what do you mean? What is there to write about a nigga you don't know?
All right, bro, come on. Yeah, I'm singing a song for Patrick. Oh, no. Yeah. You gonna sing? I'm s not singing. I wish I was, but um, just a little spoken word rap kind of thing. We'll oh, see. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna be reading out a poem. Okay. I'll be reading out a poem. Um, I've got like a few lines for Patrick, so I wrote a little rap. Okay. Honestly, the whole time I just drew a picture. So if Patrick wants a poem, I'll do a poem. If you want a song, I'll do a song. If you want a rap, I'll do a rap. You a kid, bro. You got to go. You a kid. It's cool. Okay, Patrick. This is a song that I remixed for you. Originally, it's Beyonce, Say My Name, but right now it's Patrick, Say My Name. Oh, Jesus Christ. Say my name, say my name. Oh, hell nah, cuz. You doing the worst right now. You disrespecting the fuck out Beyonce, and she just dropped another album this year, bro. I might have to... Bro, you might need to get stabbed in the belly button for that one. That was crazy. When no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game, say my name, say my name. Nah, cuz. Sorry. Nah, I'm dropping you off in the hood. These bitches are not for you. I'm the one that knows you. Better say my name. And then you not being pro woman right now? You being a pick me in front of the bitches? Fuck wrong with you. I'm, I'm getting you going after that. Say my name, sing my name. Nah, when cameras cause. are not rolling, my heart you have stolen. Baby, nah, sing cause. my name. Nah, cuz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad, y'all hating. Nigga, shut the fuck up. If you want. Uh, like, be quiet. You said you wanted a new experience, so pick me and I'll help you feel it. Chocolate brown curls, hip dips down my waist. Looking through your radiant eyes, I can see a longing for a taste. Okay, a little sensuality, you know what I'm saying? A little cool little vibe. Damn. It all really says. What is the sound? Mine's a little bit more lovey-dovey, so. Cupid hit me with precision. I wondered if you looked both ways when you crossed my mind. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I know you didn't just take that line, bro. So, Weedy, you got to do better than that. Of chasing. You're the one that's always running through my daydream. <sighs> I can only see your face when I close my eyes. Can I get a kiss and let's make it last forever? Okay, so, Sweetie, a fuck girl. Cool. Oh my God. I'm going to follow that. <laughs> Okay, so, tan line, big curves, and the energy glows. I mean, I just wrote this, so I hope it flows. Go ghost if you like, make sure the door don't hit you, but I'm Ray, so nice to meet you. Okay, rap, poem, or song? Oh, I don't know. What, is the, what does the board say? If it says a cat, then, I don't know, just improvise. What do you feel? How's it a rap? Bro, as a man, bro, I'm sorry, bro. As a man, I'm not having any of these chicks perform. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing it, bro. Like, either the show go in or we talking to the producers, like, in, immediately in this moment. I'm not sitting through you niggas perform a rap song for a nigga you don't know, bro. I'm not sitting through this. We got to come up with another challenge, bro. Like, this is a lot. Do a rap. Okay. Um, shit. Okay. Fuck, I should have written something. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, um. Okay. Sitting here on the white floor, oh looking at you when I'm looking at the door, but wait, no. Yo, you see in the door. You said it right. Nah, you ain't making a mistake. You going right to that fucking door, my G. Let me start again. Wait. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't no need to start again. You gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing such good ones before. Okay. You got blonde hair and blue eyes. When I look at your eyes, I think of the skies. And then when I think and of I'm the skies, I think of flying. It's but I don't want to fly because I want to be dying. Team. She oh. the mic back. Why did you say it was like, get it away? That was a bar. So, uh, just two? All right, just two. Okay. Um, 
You and Rihanna Pan. You know what though? You gotta go because that was some crazy pick me shit that I wasn't expecting from you, gang. That was crazy unattractive. I can't lie. Fro might have to get up out the way. I can't say this is a fro either. That's kind of crazy. You and you. The two ends gotta go. Mm, yeah, yeah. Getting the two ends up out the way. I can't go past the Beyonce, uh, the Beyonce rework. So yes, you literally can. And but I... and yes. All right. Wait. So did you pick the last three? I'm confused. What the fuck is this? Oh, niggas is different. Wait, he only picked two? You can only take two? What the fuck? Huh? This game is dumb as fuck. Nah, bro, no way. No way. Hi. How you going? Grace, was it? Nah, no. bro. Wow, that's really embarrassing. Good start. No. Name? Just so I don't forget this time. Say it three times, okay? Yeah. Divina. Divina. That's one. One. Again. Divina. One more time. Divina. Perfect. Grace. Divina. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of cringe right now. Me. I can't lie. Mm -mm. I just, I'm fun like that. You're fun. Yeah, I'll call you Grace one more time. No, <laughs> do that. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. Why do you keep leaning in? Well, um, which part? It's a broad question. Where are you from? Philippines. Philippines? Mm -hmm. When did you come over here or were you born here? No, I came here when I was nine. Oh, no shit. Mm. Um, How about you? Well, I'm uh, born and raised in Western suburbs. Okay. Mum's German. My dad's great granddad's a convict, so mm -hmm. half really Australian, half, half German. Beautiful. Have you visited back in Germany? No, I think it's no. still a bit too risky. Really? Blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, really? That's don't... still a thing? Yeah. Is that an assumption or is that a real it's an assumption. fact? Okay. So I'll stay away from there. All right. Have you traveled much? Yeah, I went to, been to South America, been to, been to South America, been to Japan, been to Vietnam. Most. What are we doing here? Mostly Asia, Perfect. but not the Philippines yet. That's okay, as long as you have a taste for Asia. I definitely do. Perfect. All right. Um, Are your piercings visible right now? Yes. They are? I took the last couple out. How come? Funny story, actually. There was a, a rib issue that I had, and I had to get a scan, and I forgot that they were there. <laughs> and they were like, they you have piercings? Right? And I was like, yo, I do. <laughs> so I had to take it off, unfortunately. Cool thing. Yeah. So just that, no, nothing lower? Is that a common thing for women? To uh, pierce lower? I mean, belly button? No. No, all right then. Is that a thing for you? Is that a fetish? Is that why you're asking or? More curiosity. Curiosity. So. What does that tell you about a person? What does it tell me about a person? Mm -hmm. Why is it a specific question you chose to ask? Um, I don't know, just. Oh God, bro. How, how, how are you supposed to be the catch and you selling? I'm so I'm so confused, bro. Usually I'm in I'm in full support of the of the picker and their decisions, but like you're making it difficult, brother. Sometimes. Does it tell you maybe how adventurous a person could be, or just a curiosity? A bit of both, actually. Okay. So it tells me you've uh, <laughs> you were curious, and now you're just uh, dipping back into something a bit more tamer now. Tamer. So what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Yeah. Hmm. Um, the bar is really high, so I'm gonna need to see that. Chat, never, chat, never ask, never ask someone what they're looking for. And never respond to a question if someone asks you what they're looking for. It is a trap question. Don't ever, don't ever say what you're looking for and don't ever ask what someone's looking for. That's a bad idea. 
I can't tell you how to act. I just gotta analyze the way you behave. And Otherwise, if I tell you what I want, you start to act the way I want you to. Rather I mean, she just basically said what I said. How do you answer then? You don't. You don't tell people what you want because they they a lot of people pretend to be that. Then yeah, it's very. And they and they start trying to be something that they not. She explained it. She got it. Right. That's why I said me like we really we really on the same type of time. Man. So, um, what do you do by the way? I model. Model. Yeah. Model what? Clothes. Clothes. What was the latest job that you did? Workwear. So, do you know Bad Workwear, the clothing company? I actually don't. How am I horny? I've said nothing. I've said nothing. What are you talking about? Niggas just be on my dick for no reason. I'm sitting up here looking at the conversation like everybody else. Stand up. Nigga, you just want to see dick. Go to Pornhub, weirdo. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Are they an like Australian that. brand or? Yeah. Okay. One minute what to go. What else do you want to know? Oh. Um, time for me to ask you a question now. Yeah. Uh, what's your biggest ick in a guy? Oh my god, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you saying? Jesus Christ. Another question you don't ask. Hygiene. If Hygiene? You do not, if I check your bathroom and it's not at all clean or- And she answered this one. He got you. Or there's just- Toothpaste mark, toothpaste mark everywhere. On the, just, on the fucking, yes, on the mirror. Yes, that's not it for oh me. I'm God. just no. And if your car, mm -mm. what do you drive? Alexis. So you got a clean car. Yes. Lexus. God. Damn. Um. God, I know how you feel about the bathroom. My housemate is a fucking mess. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. This MF has on Nike Elite socks. Get them gone. <laughs> It's not even it's not even that, bro. It's just such a try hard conversation. It's such a try hard conversation, bro. Like relax, sit the fuck back. Like why are you you're trying to like y'all acting like y'all trying to start a relationship right now, my boy? Just get to know a person. I'm so confused. What are you what are you doing? They're making me upset, bro. You hate Australia motherfucker so much. Niggas playing chess. <laughs> oh, man. I'm upset. I'm really upset right now. What's your ick about a girl? My ick about a girl. Um, honesty. Just not being honest. I, I don't know if that's that's bare minimum. That is a bare minimum, yeah. isn't it? One last question. What was uh, the first thing you noticed about me? First thing I noticed. Be honest. Completely honest, because your ick was honesty. Are they real? <laughs> is that important? I mean, that was the first real nigga question he asked the whole time. Even though it was still a bad question, it was the most personality that this nigga has shown the entire conversation. I'm going to be honest with you. This is what I mean by be yourself. Because niggas either going to fuck with you or they not going to fuck with you. You should have just came out and been, and been up front from the beginning. Feel what I'm saying? Niggas might have got a better conversation out of you. Is that important? He said, are they real? Like your titties. Which is crazy because they're not even big enough for you to question whether they're real or not, in my opinion, but it is what it is. It's just the first thing I noticed. You asked. Good. It's a good, honest question. First thing I thought is, you are fucking gorgeous. And then now he's selling. Thank you. And then are they real? Okay. If that suffices. It does. I didn't say that. Jesus. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, oh, I want to just, you know what I'm saying? I just, oh man, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I'm going to just breathe. I'm going to just breathe.
Niggas make me nervous. I got to remember that niggas make me nervous. Okay. And so when and when that is the case and niggas make me nervous, I got to be understanding that niggas going to make me nervous. And that's just what it is. I can't be surprised when niggas make me nervous. I can't be surprised. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Not going to lie. This vid is kind of trashy in a lot of ways. It is. It is. I really like the eye contact for sure. There was intensity there, which was good. Made me question his misogynistic mindset, though, with the last comment. But we can, we'll see. We'll see. That's not misogynistic. It's just, I mean, it's a stupid question. But I wouldn't say it's misogynistic to just notice something about a person and then be like, oh, I wonder if that's where a girl could it, like easily have the exact same question. If a nigga walked out and he had a huge ass bulge in his pants, like a girl could be like, oh, I wonder if that's real, too. Like, what do you mean? Babes, I already won. So whatever, like, he chooses, I win. Because I think I'm great, so. Hi, Patrick. How are you going? Good, how are you? I'm good, good to see you back here. You can stuff your pants. What do you mean? Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Do you remember my name? It's not Grace, by the way. This is about to be a, uh, you know what, never mind. Yeah, it's a debate now. You're dumb. Big surgery is real? You're dumb. You're stupid. Um, no, it's not. I know. I'll give you another try, go. Wait, what did he say? Uh, do you remember my name? It's not Grace, by the way. Yeah, it's a debate now. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're stupid. Um, no, it's not. I know. I'll give you another try, go. First letter? There are a lot of names. You literally had two girls come to the final. You only had to remember two names. Wait, you're just telling me your name. God oh, damn. You did, yeah, you did. My name is Rafara. Don't forget it. I'm not going to say it twice. Nah, yeah. I won't forget it. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah, if you're not going to remember girls' names, why are you here? Well, I'll remember it now. Nigga, I don't okay. know I mean, you. I'll say it a lot of times later. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you're smooth, you're smooth. So what are you looking for? She say he's smooth. Well. Oh, nah. Bit of fun, bit of love, bit of both. Oh, nah. Okay. Yeah. Because, I don't know, you can't go out with someone and that shit be boring, so. Unless they're boring? You can't go out with someone if they're boring, If so. they're boring, I agree. I hate boring niggas, but you're not a nigga, so I can't really say that. But. <laughs> Have you ever been with a black woman did not before? Just say that. I have. You have? I have. Why is that a red flag? <laughs> it's kind of giving jungle fever. Because the last two people, you got a Filipino queen and now you got a Zimbabwean goddess. What are you going to do with both that? Do you feel me? Both of that. Yeah. Yeah, like those are the two people you chose, so I'm a bit suspicious. What do you mean, what am I gonna do with that? Like why? Like why, like what was the reason? What did you see in me that made you wanna choose me? You could fucking sing. Yeah, and? And you know, it was pretty fucking good. Yeah, and? <laughs> um, I don't know, I like your smile. Wow, so you think I'm ugly? I can't win this. <laughs> no, for real. So no, you're definitely not ugly. Thank you. So you model. I do. I model as well. What, like, what shoots have you done? Who do you work for? I'm. Uh, I can disclose some, but I can't disclose others. It's on the DL. On NDA. the DLs, yeah. Okay. NDA. Bro, she has that. She has that like high school level girl flirting vibe. Like this is how girls in high school flirt with you. I'm I'm con I, I'm concerned about the whole little shit. Yeah, so so uh, did what did I do? Did a brewery last week? You know, Cooper's Brewery. Yeah. So it's gonna be uh, like some limited edition. <gasps> what is this porn background then, music? Yeah, this softcore porn ass well. background so, music, bro. Yeah. 
That's all I can disclose right now. Is that your passion? Uh, Is that ever? Not yet. Right, not so yet. I mean, I'll do it right now, but... Yeah. So then, what is, like, your grind? Like, what's your passion? Because why would I be with a man who doesn't have, like, a focus? That's a good point. Like, why are you just modelling for fun? Like, what do you actually want to do? I mean, I can't... These niggas I are can't so the fun that I dry. Yeah. Holy yeah, politics. fuck! It's politics! Yeah. Neither of you niggas deserve love or happiness or anything good when it comes to relationships. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. Y'all are the most boring niggas I've ever heard converse ever in anything in life. Holy shit. You are try hard as fuck. Fuck. Say some. Where your personality? Where, do you grew up with this personality your whole life? Okay, I love politics. Where, where do you lean? Left, right? Where do I lean? Yeah. Yeah, left. Left. Left? The, the correct answer. Okay, okay. So I can't ask you who you voted for. I mean, you can. Okay, who did you vote for? I voted for Labor. Who did you vote for? I'm not going to disclose. Okay, all right. But I voted for Greens. Wait. So you <laughs> did just disclose. I did. Because I had to rep them. Anyway, right. so in five years, you see yourself doing what? I see myself being... She just asked a five-year question, bro. This is everything, honestly, this is everything I've ever been taught is bad for like a first date or first impressions like this is everything that i've always been taught not to do like this is insane i've never seen people try so hard in my life in my fucking life what questions would you that's the point you're not supposed to have anything prepared. There's no questions. There's no nothing. You just go on with the flow of the vibe. Like what whatever you see. Oh shit, it was it was a criminal justice lawyer bro. Law, law firm. So you're going to uni or Yeah, I'm gonna start. Cool. Eventually. Like it would be easy to talk about shoes for a second, but this nigga got on dirty AF F ones. Okay, take this as motivation. Yeah, I think I might. Okay, so you're not gonna find a fine girl if you don't have a hustle. That's a good point. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now you have oh to ask me. God. Where am I gonna be in five years? Hmm? Where am I gonna be in five years? Where are you gonna be then? I'm gonna be famous. You're gonna be famous. And rich. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, she did not just say doing what? Retiring early, everything, singing. But you have to be doing my god. Acting, movies, all of that. All of that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said, I want to be famous. Do some acting. So what yeah. movies have you been doing? Um, I haven't been in movies yet. I do music videos right now. I haven't been cast in a movie, but just you wait. I'll be next to Zendaya. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. Game respect, game. <laughs> it does. All right. So. <laughs> this is amazing. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I think people can change, but I think if you cheated my soul like, is crying on out. me or in my proximity, I'll never trust you again. Like, I know they can change. In my proximity? Change, but I'm not going to trust you like that again. Do you feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I think people can change, but sometimes it's some stuff's just too deeply rooted. To exactly. Be, um, Exactly. Like, like how you forgot my problem. name. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> I think the date was okay. Like, between you and me on the DL, the conversation was dead. I felt like I was carrying it and I felt like he didn't have any game. Well, she's right. No personality coming from bro. But no personality coming from you neither. Hella ironic. Crazy irony right here. The lack of self-awareness is actually insane, bro. It needs to be studied in a science lab. And he wasn't putting me in my place enough. Like, I need a man who's going to tell me, like, when I need to settle down. Bitch, I don't know you like that. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Th this whole fake attitude because I want to low-key be submissive. If you want to be submissive, just be submissive, my nigga. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You living out a fantasy with a nigga you don't even know? Are you dumb? Are you cool? You, you, you good, bro? Nah, bro, get her out the way. And I was being a bit outrageous, and I was trying to make him say something like, 
bitch, stop, like relax, because I'm trying to have that kind of relationship with my mans. But he just let me keep running my mouth, and I got kind of bored, so then I just kept saying out-of-pocket shit. Um, you didn't even say nothing out of pocket. You vanilla as hell. You ain't say nothing crazy. You was given a little bit of brief attitude, and you think that was going to be enough to provoke a nigga into calling you a bitch, huh? But other than that, it was really good. Patrick. What's up? How, how's it going? I'm good, man. I had some fun today. Yeah? Y'all niggas just pissed me off for 30 minutes. I've made my decision. Yeah. How do you, have you really thought about it? I thought long and hard, and I made my decision. Yeah? Yeah. Like, what, what made you choose the person you chose? Uh, she sounded worldly. She sounded, uh, yeah, she's invested in my time, invested in what I said. And mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I was interested in what she, uh, what she brought to the table as well. And she, you know, she kept me in line as well, so. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yo, these niggas and these people that need people to keep them, like, in check. Oh, man, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get you niggas, bro. Before you make this, your decision, did you hear what they had to say about you? I did. I, I did. Get, How do you I feel? I don't get you niggas. Well, you know, nobody's perfect, so I forgive them. But. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Patrick. I, Patrick, make your decision now. I've chosen Davina. Obviously. That's all right. How you going? Great. How do you feel? Great. No difference. All right, sweet. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, where do they make people like this? I'm confused. I'm confused, bro. That sounds uh, reassuring. I think he said, How do you feel? Like, I've got no, I don't know anything more about you, bro. You win this $100 um, prize. A hundred? You can either take her out on a beautiful date or you can take her yourself. Where the fuck are <laughs> All right. Oh man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I reckon she can pick the place. She can pick the time and uh Sounds like I'll be the one paying. Can I say something? <laughs> You're gonna need more than $100 to take me to where I wanna go. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'll, uh, I'll work on that. Uh, uh, uh. The jokes write themselves. They do. I mean, she's spitting facts. Because $100, like, that might get me... Nigga, sometimes my DoorDash be costing 40 at least. Maybe a little gas on the side. Shit, let me think. Might want to go to, you know what I'm saying, see something. I don't know. Shit, what else I'm thinking about? Little CVS stop, little Walgreens stop on something. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm going to your house. Might need to stop at the store real quick, pick up a little couple items. Then the food that we end up getting, it's gonna be more than it's gonna be more than a hundred dollars, bro. Sorry, it's just it's just it, it is what it is. You leaving her on red. I mean, that's just not unreasonable. Like, even even if I went somewhere with my niggas, it's more than a hundred dollars nine times out of ten. On a first nigga, a first date for a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. It's not whether or not she's worth a hundred dollars. A lot of the time, when you go out with just regular people, you are gonna spend more than a hundred dollars. That's not privilege at all. You don't know what the fuck I had to do. Look, bro, stop. That's not privilege at all. But if you if if you if you're my age, is what I would say. If you're 25 plus, a hundred dollars is like almost expected. It really is. 
hundred dollars is almost expected. Are we talking one fifty? Nigga, I've left the house with someone before and spent like three, four hundred dollars in a day, four, five hundred dollars. That's like, I'm not saying that that's not a, a a little chunk of change, but if you gonna leave somewhere and you know where you're going and you know the type of timing that the day is gonna be on, I mean, I didn't spend all of it on her. I, w- I was there too. What the fuck? If you like someone, they spend money on you too. Like, what the fuck? Like, y- you acting like you losing something crazy. Homeless using Walmart Wi-Fi. Hey, man, I hope things get better for you. You know what I'm saying? In a relationship. $100 is literally doing in almost. That's what I'm saying. $100, bro. You can you can spend $100 doing damn near anything. A trip to a, a trip to fucking Walmart could cost you $100. Real quick. That has nothing to do with YouTube money. If y'all knew how little money I make from YouTube that I spend, you'd be fucking surprised. You'd be shocked. You'd be shocked. A video game is literally like 80 bucks. Y'all niggas just bought Modern Warfare 2 crazy. Now, I know you get a lot more replayability out of that. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know, I know, I know, I know you get a lot more replayability out of a video game. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna come at you like that. All right, chill, chill. But, but let's just not act like when you take somebody out or you get asked out, even when you get asked out, I'm prepared to spend money. Now that don't mean that I always, you know what I'm saying? End up spending money when I go out. But if I get asked out and somebody pay for me, even though I'm a conservative type of person and I don't, I don't, I don't overindulge on anything really for the most part. The day still, the date, or just going to the dinner, going to the lunch, could easily run into 150, 200, depending on where you go. Sometimes you, sometimes you chilling. Sometimes you bumming out for the day. You just go to her house and y'all get some DoorDash. Y'all both get something real simple, real cool. End up spending thirty dollars. It don't always have to be that way, but a lot of the time it is, and that's not something that you know what I'm saying. That's not something that's gonna. Uh, that you should look at like, oh, this I'm being taken advantage of, or this is the worst situation. Like, I don't think it's that deep. What are my thoughts on that new annoying ass Verizon ad? I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I haven't seen a Verizon ad. I haven't seen that. Why are you quoting that? Like that's a weird thing to do. Like that's what, like that's a, like it's a weird thing to say. That's what I'm saying. I look, regardless of what anybody say, regardless of what anybody say, I do not give a fuck about spending money on food. Bro, food I don't give a fuck. I would spend a ridiculous amount of money on food. Eating out, grocery food, uh cooking food, I don't give a fuck. Food is just that that goes in you, bro. You got to eat. Like that's it's just a, that's an essential. I don't have no I don't have no choice. So if if you if you trying to be cheap on food, bro, I can't fuck with you. That's just the facts. I I, I like I don't know what I don't know what you think this is. I just can't I can't I can't do it, bro. I can't I can't skimp out on food at all. Second, I can't skimp out on clothes. Don't 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 treat certain things like you doing it for a girl. You know what I mean? Like when you go and you buy shoes, you spend top dollar on the shoes that you get because you know they that they supposed to look good. Or as much as you can for what it is that you can get. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying everybody in the, in the same little range or whatever, but you do what you can because you know, all right, this got to be quality. You know what I'm saying? When I go and get certain clothes, I'm like, yo, I got to spend a little cash on this because that's just what it is. Same thing with jewelry. I can't be cheap on certain shit because that's just not the way it is. Or I'm willing to pay for certain shit because I need that. It is what it is. <laughs> 